when we're talking about the suffragettes, who we idolise, obviously, because of the way in which they promoted the rights of women. But of course, there was a lot of kind of stepping on Native American people, on slaves, in terms of if someone's going to get the votes first, it's got to be us. It wasn't about everyone gets uplifted. But I think we have to remember that gender equality is not the first thing that women worry about all the time. If we have other sources of power and agency to reach for, we will do it. This is why the patriarchal bargain exists. But it also exists in other ways, that if we have our wealth or our status or our race or our class to leverage, we will do it. And repeatedly you see that right throughout history. The Queen, the late Queen, is a good example of this, that her being in power didn't really make any difference to women. Social change did happen while she was in power. But I don't think any of us can say it happened because she was in power, right? When people say to me, how can people be complicit in their own oppression? All I have to say is, look at the way we treat the royal family. Mm. If, why are we so different to the royal family if we aren't internalizing our own oppression? Where is the logic in that?